As most of you know, code signing in iOS development is a difficult task for most of us. And AppCircle was making this easy by letting you upload your certificates and provision profiles to AppCircle and we were using those signing identities while building your application. But now there's an even easier and better way to do this and we call this automatic code signing. With automatic code signing, you don't need to upload or deal with any of the provision profile files and while building, AppCircle handles all of those for you. So we're removing one step from development and this actually will let you to easily build your apps and avoid making mistakes while choosing a provision profile file. So in order to enable automatic code signing, we have some prerequisites, of course. One of them is that you need to upload your development and distribution certificates to AppCircle. To do that, we go to our signing identities tab on the top left here. And once we go to iOS certificates tab, it will prompt us to add new certificates. So we tap add new, and then we need to upload two certificates, one for Apple distribution and the other one for Apple development. So these two files are needed. In order to learn more about how to extract these files and upload them, you can just visit our documentation with detailed instructions on how to do these. So let's just upload our P12 files now. So I'll tap upload certificate bundle and then choose my development certificate. So tap add new, choose my distribution certificate. Now we've uploaded both of our certificates and they're valid for about a year. And AppCircle will also remind us when it's about to expire close to those dates. Uh, we will get an email that uh, we need to renew our certificates. Okay, this part is done. The second prerequisite step is that we need to provide AppCircle an App Store Connect API key. So we can get this API key from Apple's App Store Connect webpage. So we can navigate to App Store Connect and then go to users and access. So now we can just open up a new tab, load the App Store Connect web page. And once we log in, we tap the Users and Access button and then navigate to Keys. We have a whole different separate video for uh, all these steps and explaining them in detail, but I will just do with them quickly here. I'll just give it a name. Give it some admin access and then generate the key. Once we have the key, we need to download this file. This can only be downloaded once. And then I will just copy the ID and the issuer ID, go back to App Circle, go to my organization, and then go to my integration tab. And then from here in the App Store Connect API keys, I tap manage because I have already have one. I will just add another one. I will choose that file, paste the key ID here and also go back and copy the issuer ID. And let's just give this a name. You can just give it any name and then hit save credentials. Once we save it, we have the App Store Connect API key. So with these two added, we are ready to enable automatic code signing in our applications. So I'll just close this tab here and then go to build. Choose my application here. I want this to be code signed and then go to my branch configurations, telling AppCircle which code signing identity to use, which Xcode version to use as well. I will just bump my Xcode version to 14 because it's newly released and then hit save and then go to the signing identity tab. And then in here I can enable automatic code signing now. Now it just asks me which API key to use. I will choose my newest API key and then I will also choose one development and one distribution certificate. We can have multiple certificates in AppCircle and so make sure that you choose the correct ones. And then this part, it asks us which export method that we are going to use. So once we get this application built and we get an IPA file, where are we going to distribute this, uh, this, this file? So we have a few options here. We can choose App Store if we want to send this to App Store or Test Flight. We can choose ad hoc if we have our device tester devices uh, added to our system. We can use ad hoc. We can use we can get a development build, 
or for enterprise distribution, we can choose enterprise. So I will choose App Store for now and then hit save. And once we save this, we are ready to get our build. So I will just create a build now, start a build. And once our build is complete, we will have our application built and code signed automatically. And this is basically pretty much it. And I'll see you on the next video.